mechanical stuff is always fun. You know, you play with code all day long, you can't see see the, the stuff that's happening. So these are rated for some number of cycles. I'm not sure how many, but the whole one of the one of the premises for rolling these out to power companies is that they can remotely connect and disconnect. So you put, okay, so this is really the piece that when the when the signal comes across from one of these boards, you know, from the power company to turn off your power or turn it back on and and ultimately to measure how much power you're using, you know, everything flows through here. So so the this thing plugs into your wall, the power from the power company is coming in to the top, and then it, it flows through what we'll see inside, out the bottom, into your house, your apartment, business, whatever it might be. And so there's there's a couple couple sets of lines here. So on the input side that's coming from the power company, and on the output side that's going into your house. So let's open this up. It's just four torque screws that are holding it. So here's the the current loop, and and the way it the way it flows is if you look in how how current loops sense the the power, you can't feed you can't have the loop. And say if, pretend this was a current loop. You can't feed both the wires through it the same way because it can't actually detect uh, the the power usage. What you do is you feed one wire in one way and you feed the other wire through the other way and then it's able to uh, detect it or possibly if it was just one wire but they want to check both sides of this and so what you notice is that one of them comes from the top here and goes down through and the other one comes from the bottom and comes up so they've effectively fed the wires through like that through this um, current sensor and so if we get that out of the way and try to get some of these other wires out of the way right now it's connected so so these contacts here can separate out and there's a bunch there's like three on each side you can see yeah if I do it like this you can see the three on each side and they're spring-loaded holding them down and so what I'll do is I'll apply I'll apply some power to this motor right here so I have a power supply set up and I just have uh, some leads here and what I'll do is right now it's actually connected so if we were to apply power to the top it would come through the bottom but let's see if I got this the right way so now you can see these opened up and the connections that were inside here are are broken so it's not connected at all and then if I put it back the other way it connects in and so it's a little gear mechanism that's inside here a set of planetary gears and everything that that control this I have bought a couple meters where when I tested this mechanism out it wouldn't work so I tested this one before I shot the video just to make sure and maybe that's why they ended up on eBay because they couldn't actually shut someone's power off and the gear mechanism had been uh, it looked like maybe one of the teeth of the, the gears chipped off or something so I'll just zoom in here so you can see this a little closer So you place a you place a call say hey I just moved in can you give me power they say no problem you know 30 seconds later or something they can that signal comes down like I've seen when I log into my account and click the button to do a meter read 15 seconds later my meter is responding so they can very quickly once they've they verified things send a signal down and so you know they don't have to send a truck to somebody's house they don't have to go plug and unplug this thing and lock stuff physically or anything like that so it's uh that part is, uh, you know, pretty sweet, I'd say, uh, unless you're on the, the receiving end of losing your power, then, then not so sweet. I don't think I'm going to take this one apart any further since it works. I'll just show it from the top here so you can see kind of this little mechanism rotate around. Let's see if I can play the, the balancing game and hold this thing. So it's just six volts at half an amp is what I'm feeding into this. So that way is the direction it already is, so we'll go this way. So I think that covers it for this one. Thanks for watching.